Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, Steve Breach coming to you live from the GoHastings.com Wrestle Center. Uh, sorry about the Gemini opening right there. No time for editing today. We got one chance. Bam, we're going to get it done. If we screw it up, we screw it up. Uh, speaking of Gemini, uh, here's to you, buddy. Hope you get out of your funk, dude. Uh, I don't know about these Cena videos you've been making. Uh, you already know my opinion. I told you the other day. Uh, but dude, just just go pop in SummerSlam 1991. In my opinion, one of the best uh, pay-per-views of all time. Do a, do a review on that, dude. That'll get you out of your funk, if nothing else will. Um, um, let's see. Uh, this week in wrestling's been sort of a dull. Anytime WB takes a break, and by taking taking a break, I mean they go they go overseas or out of the country. They tape some shows, and um, I don't know. Taped wrestling to me just isn't the best. You know, I, Raw just didn't have the same feel. Uh, when you watch it, when you know it's not live, even if you're able to duck the spoilers, or even if you just hear a couple of the spoilers, it just just gets you all weird. Um, and then, like on, on TNA, you got the ECW guys coming to the pay per view. I don't know how great that show was, but um, if I'm home and I'm, and I'm able to watch it, I'll watch it. If not, uh, that's no big deal to me. Those guys are really gonna have to work their butts off. The whole thing I've never been able to wrap my uh, my mind around is they call themselves, uh, what the hell do they call themselves? They call themselves like EV Volume 2 or whatever like that. The Volume 2 never made sense to me because what are, what are you the two, the, the two of? It doesn't make any sense. There was ECW, uh, that's one, and then ECW closed, and then, then, then there was ECW that, that uh, rebranded in the Invasion, that should be two, and then Vince came up and he started the uh, ECW on TV, on TNN. Or no, it was on Sci-Fi, and that was three, and now you're on TNA, that would be four. Why aren't you 4.0? I don't know, that's just, that's just me, though. Um, but we're working on some big SummerSlam news right now, uh, as everybody knows. Oh, by the way, Monday Night Raw, Sacramento, California, on Monday. I'll be going. I don't have a ticket. I'm going to be at the uh, the mercy of the scalpers. Scalpers, come see me. I'm looking for one, baby. I need one. Who needs one? Um... But I'll be out there, and then right after that, we're heading down to Brando's big Disneyland trip. And then uh, what we'll be also working on, we got SummerSlam. Oh, the good old Summer Fest, everybody. Um, when I'm down there, we got tickets to Access. Um, uh, there's going to be uh, the Sunday showing. We have big, big names for, for Sunday. I was sort of uh, thinking it was going to be the Jobber show, mostly because they were having to get everybody ready for the show. But um, for the Sunday showing, there's going to be Kane, Cody Rhodes, Kelly Kelly, Lisa Fox, Jack Swagger, Horn Swoggle, Great Collie in the opening ones. So for those, I bought a Jack Swagger figure. Um, I got the, uh, the, the the newer Mattel version 2 that should be rolling in uh, anytime now. Uh, for everybody else, uh, if I get in those lines. Um, oh, for Jack Swagger, I also got an 8x10. I'm going to be that douchebag who tries to throw two items on the table and just see what's going on. For the... Uh, the 8x10, I got the uh, uh, Money in the Bank from WrestleMania where he's pulling down the briefcase. Uh, I was there. I love it. So we lost the Hogan figure. Damn it. Happened again. But um, I just couldn't pass up on it. So yeah, I got two items for uh, Jack Swagger. Everybody else could be signing the uh, encyclopedia, it looks like, for the, uh, the later uh, that starts at 1 o'clock. They have the one guys go away and the other guys come out. There's going to be a Breath of Hitman Heart Q&A. The Miz, The Bellas, Sergeant Slaughter, Ted DiBiase, Maurice, Eve, Evan Board, Jillian Hall, and Hornswoggle again. Uh, for those, I got the uh, the Miz, I got the Mattel Elite figure uh, where he's in the jobber attire. He has the Chicks Dig Me t-shirt that comes with it. Um, I got that to get signed. I bought a six Sergeant Slaughter um, Jacks figure. It's a... Uh, um, it's, uh, Elite figure as well. I forget what it, it was a different name. It was like a Legends Elite or something like that. The one of the last like, sort of like upgraded ones that came out with it. It's got a brown box on it. And then um, I also got um, I think that was all I got. But that's coming from Ringside Collectibles. That'll be here very very soon. Uh, hopefully soon enough to take with me. It's going to be coming down to the wire. Also the, the uh, WWE shop uh, just emailed me. They said that my box is uh, at the FedEx in Sacramento, California, so it is here, hopefully that'll be here soon, we can pop that open, do a real cool unboxing for you, and then uh, the big news is that the night after SummerSlam, just last night, uh, Freaking 88 Miguel and I, we just bought six row seats, I wonder if that's a six, I think that's a six for you, six row seats for Raw, bam, it's going to be a double showing, um, it'll be really, really fun, lots of fun, lots of action, so uh, right there, 
Uh, one week we're going to be doing three shows. You might even call it four shows. Uh, you got to hit up uh, Raw in Sacramento. You got to hit Summerfest. You got to go to Raw the next night at the Staples Center again. Double showing. Going to be awesome. I heard Hogan's going to be there. No, I'm lying. But uh, anyways, this is Stevie Breach. Yeah, come on.